gotta hit him with an update. Okay. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you want the front gate. Damn. Back like that. No. Hold up. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit him with the one take. What's up guys, welcome back to Natty Garage. In today's video, we have an E92 M3 competition package chilling right here. This is the, the definitely the better angle. As you guys can see, this damage was pretty bad. This is not a car we typically want to rebuild, so this is a great car for a parts car. Everything honestly looks pretty good. We're gonna try to get the engine started in this video. Obviously, if it's a running and driving engine, that's gonna be gravy in the Navy. Actually, right over here as well, I don't know if you guys can see, but the oil cooler is fully intact. So even though everything is twisted and out of whack, Theoretically, this thing should have all of its oil. We should be able to get it running and started and show you guys, uh, hopefully, if this engine is gravy in the Navy. Again, like I was saying earlier, this is a competition package E92 M3, and it actually comes with some goodies. First thing being is this M Performance steering wheel. This is a genuine M Performance steering wheel with these extension paddles. They're actually like these metal paddles. I don't think those, they're definitely not OEM, but they look great, great aftermarket. It's not like the ones that sit on top of the paddles. It's an independent paddle in its own. Feels great, looks great. I got the flap out on here, all in Alcantara blue stripe. That looks absolutely amazing. These things are a hefty penny, so seeing it in this car was a huge bonus. The next thing is, is a more of an enthusiast thing. I believe this is the M Performance e-brake boot and e-brake handle. This thing right here has been discontinued and I can't find it anywhere. I can't even get a price on these. I believe the MSRP was like 230, but because they've been discontinued, they're a whole lot more sought out for us. So it's pretty cool to have that. This car also comes equipped with the EDC, which is super nice, which means you have full EDC suspension around the car we have the carbon leather trim across the whole car that's also super nice to have and then as you guys can see on the doors on both sides we have the individual audio the individual audio is something that i absolutely love on these cars jonathan's e92 m3 he just picked up came with individual audio and i am so jealous it sounds absolutely amazing um this car is actually pretty well spec that keyless entry the carbon roof stuff like that doesn't really benefit us but it's just cool to see and the most important thing right over here wheels. just comp wheels but i absolutely love these wheels i do think the front two are clapped but if they're not I might have to snag these for myself so uh, <laughs> these may not be for sale they might be for sale they may not be for sale and if they aren't for sale because I snagged them these will be for sale which is some apex arc 8 beautiful Michelin tires on here I love these tires these tires I think like $400 a pop as well unfortunately all four of these wheels are bent but they all hold air I still run and drive them I don't really feel anything weird until I hit like uh, about 80 miles an hour on the freeway these all need to get straightened out at that point you might as well repaint them so anyways these are a uh, I would say a set with uh, um, potential. Shout out to Jonathan. I don't know if you guys know, but he actually ended up picking up an E92 M3 for himself. That's something actually on his personal channel. It's going to be linked down below as well if you guys want to check that out. It's been a long time coming. He's been trying to get an E92 M3 for the longest time. Right behind the camera right over here, by the way. That's Jonathan. <laughs> for the longest time, guys. And uh, how do you finally feel, bro? Bro, finally got one. Super excited. Been driving it every single day. Still need to get <laughs> daily those. driving it. I really daily driving it. VA, bro. bro. <laughs> I need to get the rod bearings done ASAP. <laughs> so. Hey, bro, you going to do his rod bearings or what? Try. <laughs> Shoot, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, but we gotta try it. <laughs> oh yeah, and he has his 540. And you have your R8. I have the R8. They're all, so they're all V8. We all have V8s right now. Like, we all went from 328. Oh, inline six, 328. Automatics. <laughs> Automatics. <laughs> Literally, dude. Besides, Jonathan still had the DCT, but I mean, I love the DCT. Don't get me wrong. I feel like, like the DCT and manuals on the M3s are both amazing transmissions. Thankfully, it's not like an SMG or something. That's yeah. terrible. Plus, if he gets bored. He works at Naughty Auto Parts, so you could probably do a swap in the future, you know what I mean? Oh, if you get true. bored, you know what I mean? Because you probably get a couple. I don't know if I can get that bored. <laughs> I, I, I like the DCT, I, I, bro. If you get bored of the DCT, I'm saying, not bored. Like, yeah, like, we don't just, we're adults now, so we don't have time to freaking. Why do you marry us all day? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, we all love our M cars, and this one, unfortunately, was an enthusiast car, but uh, yeah, like I said, frame is severely damaged, so this is going to be a great parts car for those of you guys who have an E92, 328, 335, and want some cool aftermarket, not aftermarket, but OEM M3 parts on your cars, or for those of you guys who are rebuilding your M3, we got the parts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get her disassembled and see what we got in stock. You're cringing, bro. You're cringing so hard, bro. What'd you do? It didn't go off. What, you had a freaking lighter? No, it didn't go off. All right, open the garage door. Yeah, like a firework. Just pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about this? Don't don't worry Why about a you thing. Guys always don't worry about a thing. Just open the garage door, okay? No, we can't afford these pranks. Not it's my, gonna be outside. My just, physical health. Erlon, throw it outside. Failed. Failed. Done. Rip, bro. Do another one. Do another one. <laughs> Rip, bro. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> that you. That, that thing packs a punch. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so Erlon went ahead, took apart the front end. The front radiator support is off, the bumper is off. So pretty much we're sitting with all the engine components just chilling here. Oh, and the radiators are off as well, huh? Yeah. So pretty much everything cooling wise is disconnected. We are still gonna try to start this engine. We're gonna make sure that there's oil in here in just a second. If there's oil, we're gonna try starting it, making sure that it is a healthy engine before we try selling it because if we can get it started, it's obviously gonna be worth more money and that is the goal here. Okay, we're gonna drain the oil all into a pan. It's hard to measure how much oil it is. I guess they have measurement sticks and then try to put in the exact amount. Yeah. And that'll give you a good idea. 5,500 to $6,000. Uh, with the current mileage that it has. That is a big chunk of change and we want to make sure that we can actually sell that. And so. it costs more than my car. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy how much these engines are still going for, but that just shows that uh, the M prices hold up really well. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and check the oil. Hopefully you get an engine start video for you guys. So there really are a ton of goodies on here too. We just found out that these uh, are actually OEM M Performance carbon fiber mirror caps. That is pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so that is good. The engine is good to go, honestly. It sounds pretty healthy. Got it started, You got, as you guys saw on videos. Now that we know the engine is good, we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart all the rest of the car. So let's go ahead and get right into that. All right, guys, so it's been a little bit of time today. Erlon is still taking apart the M3. It is kind of a mess in here, but that is because we ended up getting some more storage racking. So in this back corner, we used to have nothing over there. This little row right here was all the way against the wall, and now we got more storage racking from that corner all the way to over there, and I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. So as you guys can see, we now have the storage racking over here so that we can actually put more stuff. Uh, so we went ahead and put it all the way against that wall, and then it goes down quite a bit down there and we're gonna go ahead and put our engines and transmissions over on this side and it's pretty close on here. Should be a lot of extra storage which is kind of what we need right now because we are running out of space which is a good thing. Bro, I'm ecstatic. Like guys, there was a lot of things, just in the last video I saw some of you guys commenting, why don't you take those doors? We don't have a place to put them unfortunately but now we're gonna have opportunities to put a bunch of doors for you guys. Literally everything with every color will have it in stock so for those of you guys who are like, no, I'm on a budget. You know, I'm trying to get a door, E92 door. Yes, you're asking 200, but then I gotta pay 300 to paint. I'll be like, hey bro, I got the exact same color door for the 200. So we're looking out for you guys. Safety glasses on. <laughs> Close your eyes, boys. Close your eyes. Yank. I like your safety glasses, bro. <laughs> I love it. Cause I always have mommy. <laughs> Keep that thing on me, bro. So yeah, guys, as you guys can see, this whole interior is already taken apart. Erlon is really quick with it, which is nice. Literally all the seats are out. Some of the carpets are out. The whole dashboard is out. The whole shift linkage assembly is out. Everything's pretty much out of this car already, which is kind of crazy. This is what's been going on while we are putting up this storage racking. Very excited about the extra storage as well as knocking out some of the stuff on the E92. What's next up? Probably the fuel pumps on this. Once we get the fuel pumps, we can start loading garbage in here. You know? Oh, that's true, that's true. And then we'll be done. And then what do you want to do with the roof? Do you want the carbon roof? I don't know. Thing is, I don't know if carbon fiber roofs sell. Yeah, it has a lot of clear coat issues. I don't know if you can see these dots, but those are like clear coat failure, to be honest. And that's a very common thing on this one. So I don't think we are going to be taking this. Oh my goodness, bro, it's bubbling. That's a little bubble. I've never seen that. Yeah, I think this one's a little toast. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take this one. Because just because it's not in the best shape and it's turning yellow and that is just a little too much so i think we're gonna pass on the roof on this one guys but there are a few more things that we do got to take off here really soon
All right, guys, so this is what we've gotten done for today. Our lawn went ahead and knocked out a ton of stuff on the M3, pretty much almost stripped. We do need to take off the trunk. We do need to take off the bumper, the exhaust, some of the suspension, the door, and then the engine and drivetrain is gonna be coming out. But the whole interior is pretty much stripped out and a lot of the other stuff is pretty much good to go. So, all right guys, so now that we're done with the M3 for today, right now we are organizing a little bit and we're thinking about moving all of our engines to over here on this side, just so that it's a little bit more out of the way and we can store more. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, plus uh, over there, we have all of our interiors, as you guys can see. We actually have two interiors over here as well. So about to get all that up over there, trying to organize it all, dashboards, trunks, cowls, everything. That all is like no oily, no fluids. And they were thinking about moving everything with fluids and oil over here. This also is a little bit more narrow, so I think it's gonna look cooler just yeah. having all the engines stacked here. We're gonna have some M engines, uh, N54s, and just, you know, just have them dedicated spots. I think we're trying to present them nicely in the videos as well. I think it'd be kind of cool. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start moving them right now. All right guys, so we got four engines over here. We have two N54s actually. We have one with 129K miles, one with 165K miles. We have an S63 out of an F10 M5. And then we also have another E92 M3, or actually E90, this one was out of an E90 M3. Same thing, 88K miles. So that is pretty low for this engine. That being said, guys, if you guys need any engines or transmissions, definitely hit us up. Check out our Instagram down below. We post most of our uh, cars on there. So if you guys need anything specific, that is the best way to get a hold of us. So definitely message us on Instagram. But right now, let's go ahead and move these engines. Alrighty guys, so we got the engines chilling right here and then one of them chilling over here. Right now we're about to put the rear end from our last E90 M3 up top over here. That is the plan for now. So Nor is using the forklift. He's gonna finesse his way around. All right, guys, that was a mission, but we got that thing on there. It took us probably like 20 minutes just to do that, just because this garbage pile was in the way. But now that we got that up there, we're gonna take the forklift again. I'm gonna move these interiors. So right here, we got a base E92 interior, and we got the E92 M3 interior right here. So for this one, I think we're asking 1200 for the E92 M3 interior. This one, I think we're asking $200. So you can see the price difference between the M3 interior and the base 328i uh, non-sport interior. That is the difference between them. Pretty much includes all the same things. Only difference is one is M, one is not. So $1,200, $200. And just like that, guys, we have the two interiors up there just chilling like a villain. I absolutely love this forklift, guys, because now we're actually able to put away things out of our way. We have so much more space on the ground right now. I absolutely love these pallet racking. We got the E92 M3 rear end up there. We actually have another one that we're actually going to be pretty much taking it fully apart to sell those individual parts. But we have a complete rear end up there and it's just looking so, so, so good. Check out that F10 M5 engine, that E92 low mileage M3 engine right there. And now we have a higher mileage one, but all gravy in the Navy. Not going to lie, guys, it's been a late night. It is 9.09 right now. So that is kind of crazy, which leaves us with not a a lot of prep for Monday. So Monday we can get straight to work, which I'm super excited about. Long night, God bless, good stuff. See you guys Monday morning. Sorry guys for the wind noise, but uh, the engine is out of the car with the transmission drive shaft. We accidentally cracked the transmission pan, so it is leaking as you guys can see right here, um, which is fine because we technically have to drain the fluids, drain the anyways. fluids anyways. So. We're gonna recommend a new uh, trans pan anyways, but I mean the car is in good shape. We did test her. <laughs> I know, it started on video. I love these motors, man. I know. So happy that worked out for us. 
We got uh, side skirts we need to remove, and then the rear bumper, potentially the trunk. We might, we'll probably take the trunk. We do have a lot more storage now, so we'll probably take the trunk as well. And then we're just gonna strip all this down. But I mean, other than that, this car's almost done. And then guys, over here, the frame rail, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it got so bent in that we ended up having to cut it off uh, just so that, oh, look at that. Just let it pour out, bro. Just no, let it pour. Just leave it up, bro. Nah, bro, just, just let it pour, you know. Let it, when it rains, <laughs> when it rains, it pours, bro. When it Fair rains, enough. it pours. <laughs> yeah, that is how bad this accident was. Oh, actually, look over here. It's actually bent right It actually right there, tweaked too. from right here, which means this whole pillar, this whole area just shifted this way. That's crazy. Dang, dude. Yeah, so for those of you guys, again, that always messages like, hey, why don't you save every car? Some of these cars saving it. I don't know why it sounded like Erlon right there. <laughs> Some of these cars are saving it. <laughs> you should save every car. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But anyways, uh, some of these cars are just, they're just not worth saving, unfortunately. Like the cost to repair this would be far beyond a clean title. And obviously it's just not a good business move. But at the same time, like you guys saw, engine's good. Uh, we have pretty much good mechanical stuff, good interiors, had a lot of performance parts. A lot of you guys already purchased those as well. So it's helping out a lot of other M cars. So that's why we do what we do. The ones we can't fix, we'll fix. The ones we can't, We'll give you guys parts. That's, that's what it is. To mention all these parts, you can fix so many cars with these. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And we we still come across so many cars where it's like this one was clapped, but you'll find them the engines blown, transmissions blown. We save those a lot. We do. Uh, I genuinely me. think like with this because we're still doing the whole save a BMW thing. So it's kind of crazy. Is this one car was sacrificed probably fix at least twenty or thirty other cars minimum. Yeah. Like the actually no, actually if you think about it, probably at least a hundred cars because we get at least a hundred parts per car, and I doubt all of those are going towards the same car. That's true. So it's fixing one down to fix a hundred others. So sacrifice. Cool. Sacrifice needs to be made. That's crazy. You see that on? Well, to be honest, like it's, it's the ease. Does it matter which side? Just anywhere. Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it is time to do the breakdown for you guys for this M3. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one quick and short. Nor is not here to uh, record with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one on my own today. This M3, we got it for $4,600 bid. After everything, taxes, fees, all that stuff. Our base price that we bought the car for is 50, pretty much 50, let's just say 5,600. It's closer to 5,600. So we bought the car for 5,600 out the door. That's actually super cheap for a 2011 LCI E92 M3. That is a very, very good price. Actually, that just reminds me, we actually sold some more parts off of this that I forgot to mention in here. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead tell you guys how much value we have in parts. So, so far guys, it's been about a month and a half now that we, since we've parted out this E92 M3. So it's been a little bit of a while. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening back and forth. This is our time to finally sit down, edit and record this video. So this kind of gives us a different idea because typically we just do it same week that we part out the car but this time it's been about a month and a half. So you guys can actually see how much sales we've actually made off of this car. Parts listed still to this day, about a month and a half later, we have about $16,105 worth of parts listed right now. Not too bad. What we've sold so far, it's actually gonna be closer. So I have 4,500, but I forgot we sold a few other parts. So we actually have around 4,750 in sold parts, probably closer to 4,800 in sold parts. We almost paid off the car without even selling the engine. So the engine is always like the biggest big ticket item on any car. We still haven't sold that engine. We still have it. It's a little bit slow. It's winter time. Not many people are doing engine swaps right now or working on their cars, especially in like snowy states. Here in California, it doesn't really snow where we are, but all over the country, there's snow. Most people are not trying to work on their cars in the snow, at least an engine swap or big projects like that. They're gonna wait till the spring, summer, and fall to do that. We're only a few hundred more away from uh, breaking even on this car and then whatever else we get is actually profit that we can use to buy other cars and pay bills. Some of those parts being we sold the M Performance 
e-brake boot in like a day of listing it. Actually less than 24 hours, we sold it for $300, which is actually kind of crazy because that thing back when it was brand new was about 200 bucks. And since it's been discontinued and this one's used, we sold it for $300 the next day. And then we also sold same day that we started parting out the M3, we sold the steering wheel, M Performance steering wheel, OEM. We sold that for 650 bucks. So we made our money back pretty quick on those two items. We also sold some drive shafts for 380 bucks, LCI taillights for 350 bucks. We sold the individual audio amp for $575. We sold the trunk for $350. We sold a few control arms. We sold a control arm set and the subframe actually for $500. What is that? We're about $5,300 in sales so far. Actually, I completely spaced it. So there's a few things that we sold locally that I didn't account for. So we're probably closer to already have breaking even on this car, which is pretty good in a month and a half. So it takes about a month and a half to break even, at least on this M3. So anything from now on, I would probably consider profit. So that is very good. In each video, we like to give a part that we thought was gonna be worth a lot, that was worth a little bit, and then a part that we thought was gonna be worth a little bit, but was worth a lot. The one that we thought at first was gonna be worth a little bit was the e-brake boot. We thought maybe it would sell for 150 bucks, but then we literally could not find it anywhere at all. So I listed it for 300 bucks thinking, okay, if we get 300 bucks for this, I'll be happy. And it actually sold, like, like I said, guys, the next day I listed it, it sold. 300 bucks for an M performance, very rare part it's a very very rare part for an oem piece so that was pretty crazy something that i thought was going to be worth more was the interior so we actually have the interior listed up for a thousand dollars i thought it was going to be worth more like two thousand dollars but i guess it's been a while since i've seen e92 m3 seats for sale because uh, i was really wrong on those i thought we were going to get closer to two thousand dollars i only listed it for a thousand bucks because there were some actually very similarly priced so i tried listing ours a little bit cheaper ours is in a little bit better condition than the other one but uh, I tried listing it at a very fair price of $1,000. Still worth a decent amount of money, a thousand bucks for an interior. I mean, you can't really complain. If we can get a thousand bucks, we would be happy. That's not too bad, but uh, just to list off some very expensive parts that we still have. We still have the engine for $5,500. We have the tr transmission for $1,000. We have the rear diff for $970. We have all the speakers for $365. Because it's individual audio, it's worth a lot. We have the M Performance Side View Mirror Caps, which we listed for quite a bit of money because they are OEM. And OEM M Performance Carbon Fiber Mirror Caps are very hard to find and they go for a lot of money, like over a thousand dollars brand new. So we listed the pair for 450 bucks. I think the passenger side has a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. So yeah, 450 bucks for some carbon fiber mirror caps. It's, it seems absurd because we're used to dealing with cheaper BMWs. I'm sure a lot of you guys deal with cheaper BMWs as well. So seeing $450 for end performance carbon fiber mirror caps, you're like that $450 could go to somewhere else that's much more utilized. But the thing is, is these are very rare and there's gonna be somebody who wants these type of items that are hard to find is gonna throw them on their car because they want a full M Performance car, just like this person bought it. M3 parts just hold their value really, really well. M3s in general hold their value really well. If you guys are looking for a car that you can have fun with but also hold value better, I would suggest an M car because you can't really go wrong with an M car. Yes, they can be expensive to maintain, but end of the day, they hold their value much better than a base model BMWs. The fact that we're close to breaking even after a month and a half is very, very good. Very happy about that. So if you guys are interested in any of these parts, the best way to contact us is our Instagram. So I'll go ahead and leave our Instagram right over here. That is the absolute best way to get a hold of us. Me and Nor both operate our Instagram and we get back to you guys very, very quick. Definitely check us out on there. We post our part outs all on there. You guys get an inside scoop of the parts. So if you guys are wondering where all these parts were, we sold them from, it was mostly Instagram and or Facebook. So definitely go ahead, shoot us a follow down there and keep up to date with what we are doing here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, just end it right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure you guys give it a like as well. With all that being said, we will catch you guys in the next one.